I'm not the most well versed in tea, I'll tell you that for free. That's why today's content is about me and BK trying to find a good specialty tea. I think it's the most, one of the most uh, underrated uh, department. Oh shit. <laughs> I think it's one of the more uh, underrated or rather underexposed genres in uh, FMB. Because uh, you see that we have such a big coffee community, but for tea wise, not so much. So uh, that's the mission today to find good specialty tea and sort of learn something here. So, some people, when they drink tea, they actually like the tea a bit stronger. So, because our recommended timing is 3 minutes, yeah. so this, there's no right or wrong way to drink tea. As in, so, so friends are correct, yeah. So, some people, they, if, if, so, so let's say if you pour already, right, and then you try it and you prefer it a bit stronger, then you can feel free to pour it back and skip it. Oh, okay, okay, I understand. Think about the teas here. Nice, clean, flavorful. But it depends on what you get, right? Yeah. This is nice for today. I think it's quite refreshing. But I still like that one more. But I had that before, so. Oh, you had a duck shape before? Yeah, I had a duck shape before. It's not as sweet as I expected. Vibe is on point. Like, it's really chill, very cool, calming, cozy. Really feels very comfortable enjoying the tea there. Uh, they have so many variations to try from. I tried some of them elsewhere already and I've been there before so I tried a couple. Uh, so, you know, it's endless combinations. They got nice kicks as well, you know, to pair if you like. Walking out of the shop feels very different because it's also like you're brought back to reality so it's a bit <laughs> weird. So, but it was enjoyable. Well, I think it's a very good entry point for someone who hasn't been really exposed to tea. Uh, I had the duck shit which is a bit more premium oolong. So to me, what do I think? I, I think it's a bit more floral, fruity. Like, I know what I like and I know what I don't like. But I cannot articulate more than that. So I, I, I really like it because it's, it's quite fragrant. It's less dark than your standard oolong tea. You, you had a double steep as well? A double steep, yeah. And I think one of the things I've learned so far is that your double steep makes your tea a bit drier. Rather, you pointed it out, so that's something for me. Alright, so we're in Chinatown now, and then uh, we're going to go to another tea bar called Sub Tea Bar. I've been eyeing this place for a while. I think I ever wanted to come since pre COVID, if I'm right, but I never had a chance. I heard the aesthetics are pretty bomb, right? I don't know, man. But I'm just going in with zero expectations. We'll figure it out. Yeah, let's go. Can you put the mic on? Spot on, spot on. I don't know, it's so strange. I'm drinking fire flora bro. And finish it back, right? The, the, the woody bark, there's this like bark taste, right? Dang. Can't even put it into words. It was enjoyable. The two drinks we had was like quite mind-blowing for both of them. I think because we did not go for the classics for Silk Tea Bar, we went for something that is a bit, it's sort of their I don't know the creation, right? But then they mentioned it's a cold brew tea. I think you already saw our reaction in the video. We were kind of mind blown by it. It's honestly a very different experience. Both the teas were super flavorful and they were just like, when you sip on it, you already knew like it was going for an experience. I think I probably want to go back for the other things uh, to try. That's how much impact it left on me. I don't know, I don't know how to describe this uh, different experience. Eh? Like, like, I know you just said that you don't know how to put into words. I, I think I'm <laughs> facing the same problem right now. It actually makes me more excited to go and learn more about tea because like this little entry from these two shops, right? And silk in particular because it's so different. It really gives me a different perspective. I guess with different steeps, you kind of get different taste profiles. You know, like I already mentioned earlier, uh, the second steep does give you a drier mouth feel. But um, just now, one of the staff, right, I don't know what they call the version of barista, but basically he told us that with every different steep, 
there will be subtle changes and that's something that I'll be quite interested to go and find out in the future. But uh, also dependent on the TDs, I guess. Yeah, and, and probably the grade as well. I guess we, I mean, we have learned from like Matt's episode that uh, coffee has different grades. I guess with tea as well, we have different grades and so that will be something that we will look into in the future. It's a bit like coffee, right? It takes time to appreciate. You can get your quick fixes, you can get uh, things that let you slowly sit down and appreciate. I mean, we didn't even try the full menu for both, but like there were different variations and stuff. I actually think there's way much more to explore and you know, like paying a premium or whatsoever, I think it's worth it for the experience like, if you have the time for it. We'll definitely be ready for more tea and we can bring more people with us so we won't get so teed out early in, in our sort of like road trip.